wielding your lightsaber. Disclaimer, I'm a grown man, but I like to have fun, so please don't make fun of me too much. And remember, it's for educational purposes. That said, let's play. Basic Stance As you can see here, the basic stance uses two hands. It's almost like holding a baseball bat close to the body and above your shoulder. This is the stance that Finn holds when fighting Kylo Ren in A New Force Awakens. Basic Strikes From the basic stance, you can perform basic strikes like such. It should feel pretty natural. Swing your saber down from right to left and from left to right. You can also strike at your opponent's lower body as well. Basic Spin as you can see here, the basic spin starts to look a little more Jedi-like. Here we allow the lightsaber to fall forward while holding it between the thumb and the index finger. It takes a bit of practice to get used to, but it'll come. You really have to rotate your wrist quite a bit, but believe me, it's worth getting this move down as it leads into the more flashy moves, like this figure eight. Here's a reverse figure eight. The Obi Andy Spin. Now for the move of all moves. The Obi Andy Spin. This move is named after Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. It is featured prominently in Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith. It starts with a basic spin to the side like so. Then it moves to a spin behind the back. Now here's the tricky part. You twist your hips and pull the lightsaber back around to the front of your body. Let's see that again. Slower this time. Now let's speed it up. Just for reference, here's a looped video clip from Revenge of the Sith, which shows the spin move in all its glory. Let's slow it down a bit. And there you have it. Be sure to review this video as many times as you need and be sure to check out the supplemental resources page of this section for many more well done tutorials on welding your lightsaber. See you in the next video.